Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to our cyberpunk scene here in Unreal Engine 4.26. So what we're going to be doing today is actually replacing our third person character right here. And then we're going to add some hair to that said person. Now the character I'm going to be importing in here is something I created in Relusion Character Creator 3.3. Now I have made a couple of videos on how to create characters in that software so go ahead and check it out in the cards above so you guys can check out how to create a character from the character creator 3.3 so yeah all we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop it we're gonna go ahead and create a folder here and then uh, we're just gonna do pro it's a protagonist I'm gonna double click that and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it in here because we're to have the CC setup plugin because we already installed that earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the FBX file in here. And we're gonna use a high quality shader. So we are gonna import the skeletal mesh, import mesh. I'm gonna leave the skeleton as none. And then I uh, gotta make sure that use time zero as reference, reference post is on so that we have uh, the correct post whenever we have this person imported. And everything else looks good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and import morph targets for later on if we have to animate some stuff and then let's see we shouldn't need anything else in here uh, I am gonna create texture so local and I'm gonna say create new materials and then I'm gonna go ahead and import okay so it looks like we have the character imported here so let's go ahead and press G and basically what we're gonna do is replace this character this little alien looking mannequin and we're going to use the character creator 3 mesh instead. So uh, what we need to do is I suggest go ahead and save here. So now we're going to have to find out where that BP is. So I'm going to press play. And you can actually see it right here. BP third person. And if you edit that, it's actually going to show you where that blueprint is. And let me go ahead and stop. So I know where that's at. It's actually the BP third person from the vertebra folder. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to that folder. It should be third person character blueprints and it's actually right here and what we need out of that is the skeleton now I'm going to rename this skeleton because I have a lot of UA4 mannequin skeleton already and it's going to be easier for me to just kind of identify this later on so just to make sure I didn't mess anything up go ahead and press play and really you just renamed it so it should be okay so after that's done go ahead and highlight here and you're gonna see that it is a blueprint class okay so that's what you want um and then what you're gonna do is go back to the skeleton we're gonna go to the retarget manager and we have to make sure that this is set to humanoid all right and look at the post didn't change so that's good so it's the similar post as UE4 mannequin so I'm gonna go ahead and save and I'm going to get out of that. So basically, we just need to make sure that our character that we imported from Character Creator has the same makeup as far as skeletons and naming convention goes. So if we go to Pro, we're going to go to Gene 3 Skeleton. And then we're going to go to the Retarget. And it is Humanoid because we have the uh, auto setup. So that should be good. We let's take a look at the... So let's go ahead and take a look at the view post. And nothing changes. So that is very good. It is the same exact post as the mannequin for the third person BP. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize this. And what I'm going to do now is right click the skeletal mesh and I'm going to go assign skeleton. And you guessed it, we are going to pick the UE5. And as you can see, I have so many skeletons here. And that's why we renamed the UE4 a UE5 because it's actually this. Now you are going to see that some stuff uh, are missing, but that's okay. That's the stuff. Pelvis is already up here. So you are, you are going to, uh, so basically you are going to have some missing stuff here like tongue and eye, but that's okay for the sake of this tutorial. We really don't need to animate the tongue and all that stuff. So as long as if majority of the stuff is in there that you need, you should be okay. All right. So let's go ahead and press accept and I'm going to press okay. And I'm going to go ahead and save all right here. Okay, so now if I press play here, nothing happens, right? But if we go back to that same exact blueprint and we click on this third person character, because that's the one that's actually spawning. If you go to viewport, I'm going to click that mesh and you go right here, skeletal mesh, find that skeletal mesh that we imported from character creator three. See that compile, save. And now when we press play, you should have that character 
instead of the mannequin that we had originally. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to do this because I think I'm probably going to use her going inside the car and it's just so much easier if it's already built in. So if I press F here, she's going to enter the car. So if I needed to get that animation right there, I can do it, you know, without having to do anything else. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do that. And additionally, if you look inside this car, if I needed a shot of her being inside the car, I can actually see her inside that car, you know, actually driving. So that's really why we ended up changing that skeleton because I know even though we're not making a video game we still need her inside that car in some shots so with that being said let me go ahead and end this video here and we're going to continue on with adding some groom hair to this third person character